Question 14. Water flows at a constant rate into a large tank. The tank is a cuboid with all sides of negligible thickness. The base of the tank measures 8 metres by 3 metres and the height of the tank is 5 metres. There is a tap at point T at the bottom of the tank as shown in figure 5. At time t minutes after the tap has opened, the depth of the water in the tank is h metres. Water is flowing into the tank at a constant rate of 0.48 metre cubed per minute, and water is modelled as leaving the tank through the tap at a rate of 0.1 h metre cubed per minute. Part A show that according to the model, 1200 dh by dt is equal to 24 minus 5 h for 4 marks. So, a lot of information. We're going to start looking at this bit that we're given. So we've got a dh by dt. And with these modelling questions with differential equations, we're quite often looking at some involvement of the chain rule. And so, I'm firstly going to consider how dh by dt could possibly be represented. So, dh by dt is going to be the rate of change of this height over time and this is going to be a product of the change in height with respect to the volume of water in this tank and then the volume of water in this tank with respect to time and so here I'm letting V equal the volume of water and so my chain rule states dh by dt can be written as dh by dv times dv by dt. Now we do actually have the rate of water leaving this tank per minute. In fact, it's, this would be the water flow. And so this point here says that the water is flowing into the tank at a rate of 0.48. So the rate of water flow is going to be dv by dt. And it's modelled as leaving at 0.1 h per minute. And so I can say that the rate is 0.48 into the tank and 0.1h out of the tank. So I can say dv by dt is equal to 0.48 minus 0.1h. Now I need my dh by dv. Well, I'm letting v be the volume of water. So coming back to the diagram, I can see the volume of water in this tank is going to be 8 times 3 times h, which is 24h. And given I now have v in terms of h, I can find dv by dh by differentiating this. And so 24h differentiates 24. So I have dv by dh, I have dv by dt. And so now I can write an expression for dh by dt. And so dh by dt is dh by dv, which is 1 over my dv by dh. So it's 1 over 24. Lots of dv by dt, which is 0.48 minus 0.1h. Let's tidy this up a bit. If we multiply both sides by 24, then I can say 24 dh by dt is equal to 0.48 minus 0.1h, which is almost in the form that I want. Actually, if I just look at getting rid of the decimal places here, so if I look at this 0.1h, I want 5. If we multiply the whole thing by 50, so every term multiplied by 50, we get 1200 dh by dt is 24 minus 5h which is what we wanted to show. Given when the tap was opened, the depth of water in the tank was two meters. Part B show that according to the model, H is equal to A plus B E to the minus KT, where A, B and K are constants to be found. This is for six marks. So let's bring in our starting formula. So we've got that 1200 dh by dt is equal to 24 minus 5h. I want to write h is equal to something in terms of t. I have here a differential equation, and so I want to try and solve this for h, but I have h's and t's, and so we're going to use separation of variables to rearrange this equation. But so dividing both sides by 24 minus 5h, dividing by 1200 and multiplying up by the dt. We've completed our separation of variables. On the left here, I have an integral of 1 over 24 minus 5h. 
and on the right I have an integral of 1 over 1200 dt. These I can now integrate, so when I integrate 1 over 24 minus 5h I get ln lots of 24 minus 5h. I do need to divide that by the derivative of this component here, so that is negative 1 fifth ln 24 minus 5h. And that's equal to 1 over 1200 integrates to t over 1200. And then I've got my constant. Now I'm given a boundary condition here on this line. Given when the tap was opened, so that's at the time t is 0, the depth of the water is 2. So I've got a boundary condition here, which I can use to find c. So substituting h is 2 into here and t is 0 gives me... 24 minus 10, so that's negative 1 fifth ln 14, which is equal to t is 0, so it's just c on the right hand side. Given I now have c, I can put that back into my equation, and so I've got negative 1 fifth ln 24 minus 5h is equal to t over 1200 minus 1 fifth ln 14. So I've got quite a complicated looking thing here, and I've, but it is in terms of h and t, so I need to start doing some rearranging. Let's start by multiplying both sides by minus 5. So multiplying by minus 5 tidies this up a little bit. We've got ln of 24 minus 5h now is equal to t over minus 240 plus ln 14. So remember, when we subtract a log from another log, it is the same as dividing. So ln of 24 minus 5h over 14, that's subtracting ln 14, is equal to my minus t over 240. I can now take exponentials of both sides. And so 24 minus 5h 14, because the exponential with the natural log will cancel, is equal to e to the power minus t over 240. We're getting to be in the form that we require. Let's multiply both sides by 14, just tidying it up a little bit more. And so now to isolate the h, if we add 5h to both sides, subtract the 14e minus t over 240, and then divide by 5, we've got that our height is equal to 24 fifths minus 14 fifths e to the minus t over 240, where we have our constants a, b, and k. Given that the tap remains open, part C, determine according to the model whether the tank will ever become full, giving a reason for your answer. So full would be, I mean, here's the height of the water. It's five meters high. So if this height ever reaches five, then we would be in trouble. So looking at this expression, we've got 24 over five, which is not quite five subtract 14 over 5 lots of e to the minus 240. Now e to the minus t over 240 will always be greater than or equal to 0. And since it is greater than or equal to 0, this means that h is always going to be at least less than 24 fifths. And because 24 fifths is less than 5, this tank will never be 